Well, just went in there to have a look at the uh, 1047 V-Strom. Very impressed. Uh, did ask for a test ride. I was going to do it first, but got the demonstrator in there on the road. 8,500. It's only done 100 miles. 8,500 and he's, not, he's got a few like that he said to me buy them now and there'll never be a well stay there lads up to you he said there'll never be an opportunity like this again but I sat on it and it's way too way too tall for me I think I'd rather spend the extra and get a second hand uh, well <laughs> spend the extra and get a, a new African twin which I know I can't afford one of them so I'd get a second hand one about an 18 plate 18 17 plate cheapest chips them now so far better bike um, but <laughs> I was looking at the uh, the salesman in there was a right nice lad. He told me his name twice and I can't remember. I keep thinking it's Paul, but that was another chap that came in. Uh, he told me, showed me the uh, W800, which really I've never, never been on my radar before, but what a nice bike. What a nice bike. Uh, what a very nice bike. Uh, we say now I get lots of vloggers coming in and uh, <laughs> taking the bikes out for the for the vlogs, which you don't mind. Yeah. Oh. I'm all at tither now, thinking what I should get for my next bike. <laughs> I might just get with this little darling. Uh, They uh, said they don't rate these, you know, in the shop. I don't know if it meant the NC750X or just on the Zon thingy, but uh, well, if you don't rate one of these, you've never ridden one, so. Because <laughs> they're a cracking bike. And it makes me think now, when I'm riding this, why would I get rid of it? I don't know. I don't think I will. I've only left the shop five minutes if that. <laughs> oh, we're entering in the centre of Bolton now. On my way home. Oh, well, Nicola could have had him out here shopping. She could have him around Mother Care and see you <laughs> Bit noisy going in the gear that time. Some bargains there, eh? 17 Golf. Was it six grand? 
the centre of uh, Bolton. Fred Dibner's hunting ground. Covid-19 test centre. Oh dear, the head of state of that bloody Vauxhall Vector there. Skoda Octavia. Let's follow the signs for the COVID-19, eh? Uh, Bottle Town Hall. So if you've never had a ride through Bolton before and I uh, decide to put this little bit on, you never know, you never know. Might do. It's quite a nice Bolton really, there's some lovely places in it, some rubbishy places. Bamboo, Oriental Cafe and Don Tacos with our at the Migos. <laughs> in fact that one down there on the donkey, it looks like Derek. <laughs> Sorry Derek. Just got me uh, <laughs> pants caught on my peg again. A young lad there with a mask on, very good. What? He's having a good conversation to himself. Bit like me. Only he's not got no camera or microphone. He's just talking to himself. Should have gone past the old bus station, really. This is one of the worst effective places, if not the worst effective places in Britain at the moment. The redeemed Christian church in front. Church of God. Breakthrough Church Bolton. NCP car parks. And a really lovely building in front. I have no idea what that is. Do only one of them don't really. Even the church don't flunk me bone. Straight on for Manchester, Burnley, left for Blackburn. Put my indicator off. I always get lost coming out, <laughs> but it's one of my nemesis places. I always think I'm going one way and I end up going another. That's exactly what I've done now. Yeah, you won't think he's to come in here <laughs> most days. But it's the same route all the time, in and out, in and out. <clears throat> but. 
I think that's it now. I think I'll turn off for the rest of the day. So anyway, if I put this on up to here, because it's only boring, uh, I can't turn it off now because the lights have gone to green. <laughs> But I'm enjoying my little uh, ride out. Is that still a taxi cab? <sighs> or did he just took his plate off for fun like that? <laughs> well, it's still got a sign on the side, back side, so maybe it still is. So Adams. See if he's flying in his drone. Fifty mile an hour along here. Snap shut loud then that. Finger my blob canvas. <laughs> Average speed cameras, oh you just love them. Right. a nice lowered little uh, caddy <laughs> why would you do that because they're young so we're on his way up to Farmworth now uh, I'll be turning off Quite nice. We're on the A666. That is. Yep, we would give a number like that. <laughs> the devil's own highway. Just gone past me turning. <laughs> oh dear, 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 dear. There you go. We won't be going past Adams now. Got a plonker. Never mind. We should be going down that road there now. <laughs> oh. Can't go up that road. Can't be putting this up now, can I? <laughs> I don't turn the mickey out of me. Busy, isn't it? We've got farm before we're to the right of us. A lovely countryside over to the left. <laughs> that we will be riding through now. We're probably Adam will be on his day out doing a bit of dronage at this moment for you lucky people not far at all from Adam's house but 
it's uh, 25 minutes past 12 we're coming off the A66 at Kersley and we're going down to the lights and take another left and head for Stonecliff and Radcliffe <coughs> then up towards Ainsworth turns right and back to Simpson Towers <coughs> Ainsworth Towers. <laughs> Can't even get that right today. Well, I haven't been blogging for over a fortnight, so you lose. Oh, Manny Osadam! Tempted to phone him, really. <laughs> but I'll be that pigeon tower if he's doing his dronage. He's done all around here. Which is a lot nicer than it looks from this road. No railway bridge. Still railway bridge, actually. I think the train still goes over that. into the quaint village of uh, Stoneclough and I can't think of the village to the left that um, my old mucker was brought up around here there's a fantastic smell of fish and chips a fantastic smell of fish and chips these new out new builds Wells house all lit up and jolly 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 and now we leave Stoneclough up the hill and up towards Radcliffe where our very good friends live Giant seats down there, good garden centre, scout camp. I've been there a few times. Going dark now, my uh, rev count has turned blue. I think there's actually a way of making it stay blue all the time. But me and electronic things don't go very well just lately. I've been trying to get my old video, uh, video player working. Still works and everything. But can I get it to play? On a flat screen TV. I've got an old flat screen screen TV upstairs. And I've got a newish one downstairs. And every time I've, I connect it up I just get no signal. I'm not going to get a signal, it's bloody analog. So even if I put the wires in and everything, it's not going to get a signal from anywhere. So if anybody knows how to do it, I've got two little devices that I get and I've, none of them work. <laughs> None of them absolutely produces a picture. Even putting it to my laptop, I can't get it to work. So if there's anybody out there <laughs> that knows how to do it, give us a clue. It'd be very much appreciated.
So this is the end of the countryside. Beautiful countrysides of England. We drop down the hill now into Redcliffe. These new houses have they've gone up since I was last year. I don't I remember them building them. Very nice. Very nouns, very nouns. Oh but I know very nouns. My, left, my right arm's gone cold, <laughs> I'm just it's going to open somewhere, but it is. Or is it colder on the right hand of the side, side of the bike than the left hand side of the bike? That's another little link though, isn't it? If you call this the right hand side and this the left hand side, right, left, or is this the half side of the bike and the near side of the bike? And when you're looking at it from the front, if you look at it from the front, <laughs> do you see it the other way around? So, this is the near side, because it's when you're riding the bike, it's nearest to the kerb. This is the off side, because it's the furthest from the kerb. And that's how it's done. So, to me, this is the near side of the bike, and that's the off side of the bike. <laughs> Does that open the can of worms? Are they all going mad? No, you're wrong! No! <laughs> it's the right and the left! And I suppose it's... That comes in as however you've been uh, brought up. Ooh, we've got the lights! Look at that in that work! No, we're not. <laughs> Pilkington Way, Radcliffe. Little Superstore on the right, and Asda on the left. Bus station on the right. The market on the right. We can't see that, which was doing marvellous, and now this COVID thing's coming. Quality coffee shouldn't cost a fortune. Just 99p. Uh, that's right, that. Biggest rip off going now, coffee. I'm a, I'm a tea drinker, and when I've had a cup of coffee, all I want after I've had a cup of coffee is a cup of tea. <clears throat> I suppose that's an age thing now, isn't it? <clears throat> Petrol's creeping up, one pound ten a litre. I suppose I should have gone in there and filled up. But I'm not going. I'm talking about tea, I'm gonna go home and have a cup of tea. Let's go. Brum, 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 brum. Oh, I won't be putting this up for a bit. Anyway, I've got to wait for me uh broadband speed to uh, be boosted up by sky. I swore I'd never go back to them. <laughs> but I saw the advert on the TV. I've been having trouble with it's been slow my uh, broadband. Very slow. Anyway, um we got to uh saw the advert on the TV for £25 for oh, Sky. Just a basic package, I don't want any I don't even really want the sky bit, but the uh, broadband was £25 and the uh, telephone line, telephone, free follows, anytime on your telephone. And it was 25 quid, so I thought, oh, I'm having a bit of that. So I got rid of uh, BT and got. We've got a uh, sky. And then they come and put it in, and I realised, like I should have done, but being a plonker, I didn't. I thought, 
it was just a basic package and I knew straight away when a, a lad came to fit it he says that you, don't, you won't be able to download anything of all oh, greasers so it'd be all right, but it'd take a bit longer. It took me two two full days. The last vlog I put up, it took two full days to put it up. The one from um, a bit weirded down there. Though. A woman run into me there. <laughs> Come out that pub straight into the side of me. Not on my bike. On my bus. She couldn't see me. What chance we've got on bikes? We've got no dog and nails chance. You couldn't even see my bus. It wasn't a double decker. <laughs> it was only a single decker, single decker bus. But she ran straight into the side. I if it, I hadn't a swerve, she'd have really hurt herself. Because she was heading straight for the wheel just below me. So I flew into the near side lane. Which, and she went smack bang into the middle of the bus. She was that busy waving to her husband. She just dropped off at the pub. I could see everything what was happening. <laughs> so good these NCs. Look at the nails. I've been there some years, rusty nails. Just past Adam's wife's house, where she used to work. I don't think she works there no more. I think she works at Adam's place now. So uh, anyway, so I've had to upgrade me. Uh, <laughs> so my twenty-five pound a month gone to thirty-five pound a month, but I'm getting the best broadband I can get where I live, which isn't very good. I've got no fibre around. They say it's fibre and all this, and, you know, it's the best. But I know it comes in my house by a rusty old copper wire, <laughs> and that's the end of that. But. Going back to that story was when when we switched over it won't switch over. So I had no broadband or anything and I was phoning I went to phone Sky up say it won't switch over. I've just got nothing now, no 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 internet and out. As I was doing that I've BT pulled up in the van. The fella got out and he says, Are you having a problem with your broadband? I said, Yeah, but we just got rid of you like he says, Yeah I know, he says, it's probably our fault. He says, uh, I know what I meant, it's, he's changed it back over to just boring, you know, slow stuff, not the thing you've got. But when he opened my box, the little, the little grey box you have in front of your L's over here in England. <laughs> a little grey box. And uh, when he opened that, it was full of slugs. <laughs> it was manky. So he said, oh, there's your problem. That's why it's been being slow. Anyway, took it all out, cleaned it all up, put it all back together again, and uh, anyway, wait, hey presto, sky appeared, sort of, <coughs> uh, and you realise you have to put passwords in everything you've got, and I have actually, I've got uh, Alexa in the house, <laughs> that's not worked since, oh, help, and I've got Google, to do same thing as Go uh, Alexa, only a Google, which I think's better, <laughs> but that's me. Uh, but uh, she won't work neither. So you know, I've been out again in our house. I go, we cannot connect. <laughs> go to your settings. What settings? I can't find them. Go to the app. <laughs> I looked in the app. So. Definitely an analog fella, me. That's why I love this bike. It's analog. Oh no, it's not. It's got that stupid thing. <laughs> I wish it had two clocks. But what I do, I don't even bother about rev counters. You don't need a rev counter on this. You can count the revs. I 
I might treat myself to a new screen now, I've seen uh, Crazy Legs, the new subscriber of mine. He's uh, just put a new a mini one on it, a little dark, a puke one, only small thing, and it, it looks quite good. I mean, I've been fancying one of the big ones, tall screens and all like that. Uh, especially next year when we did North Coast 500 a bit more protection than what even this gives me but this is spot on but then I thought well why not go smaller you know smaller than this and then you know because I never had no problems when I had no screens <laughs> so I just I got that little screen in front of me so I thought might be worth a try that uh, there indoors will be saying what are you spending again <laughs> I'm nearly beating her with my things for the bike coming through the post <laughs> Uh, and they're close for the kids. Anyway, if I put this on, I hope you've enjoyed it. Better than putting out on, though, isn't it? Uh, but it's not exactly what I wanted, so. Uh, and I am supposed to be editing, so I could put bits of it on, I suppose. That's what it all on. Trying to improve my editing skills. Not Doggy Nell's chance of that, neither. Oh. Anyway, thanks for watching. Here we are, all again. Bye for now.